Hello everybody, this is Scarecrow, and today we're going to begin a new game series. This one's a little different than what we've done before, although I guess it is kind of like Dino Crisis. We have another survival horror game on the... Oh, warning. The contents of this game are entirely fiction. Oh no! I didn't get to read the warning! Oh no. Now I don't know what I'm supposed to be warned about. Produced by FreeCloud. FreeCloud? I don't think I've ever heard of FreeCloud. Oh. Got a little, uh... Intro zizzle cutscene here. What goes on in this game? Lots of explosions, scary monsters, guns. All right, yeah, we're into it. Let's do it. Countdown vampires. That's right. You may not have heard of this game. I hadn't heard of this game. This was suggested in the comments. Uh, well, actually, not in the comments. Well, I guess in a comment. In a community post, this was suggested to me. Countdown vampires. This is a survival horror game from Bandai. Let's take a look at the key config so I know what we're doing. Okay, yeah, those look like pretty typical kind of Resident Evil controls. I'll check the sound here. Maybe we'll drop that up, raise that up. I don't know how the vocal mix is going to be. That seems to be a pretty common problem among PlayStation 1 games, is that they don't tune the voices loud enough in the mix. So, Countdown Vampires. This is a survival horror game about vampires, I guess. Let's jump in and see what we got. Uh, normal, I guess, we'll play on. So, what's going on here? What's our story? Input your data? Oh, hello. Okay, I am Scarecrow. I can actually put my whole name in here. How about that? Scarecrow. Enter. Last name. Uh, Straw. Because I'm made of straw. Blood group. Uh, I don't have blood. I have uh, straw. So I guess I'll choose type A. There we go. I don't know why I need to put my blood type in, but okay. <laughs> I'm a homicide detective from a neighboring state. Oh, are you? And I've specifically come here for a very simple reason. Oh, what's the reason? I'm working as a guard for the VIPs. Why is a homicide detective working as a VIP guard at a casino hotel? <laughs> What's going on there? Who assigned you that job? Oh, KZ... K, K2C or KZC presents? Satoki Mizuhara. I don't think I recognize that name. Oh, look at how cool our dude is. This is our homicide detective. He's got that leather jacket on. I love how late 90s this feels already. Up here at the club, just walking around. Sexy ladies with their drinks. We got this girl here walking. Some more drinks. <laughs> Some dude at the craps table, I guess? I don't know. <laughs> what, what does this got to do with anything? I guess it's just this is just what's happening before things go to crap, right? You know? What? What? what was that explosion? Oh, oh! I guess that was like a pyrotechnics thing. Oh, look at these girls dancing! That's right, they have their go-go dancing. Giving them a good show. Oh my god, is that Sean Connery? He chilling? Oh, they got Aerith from Final Fantasy VII? No way! Oh, she's gonna go over there and talk to Sean Connery for sure. Man, look at her! She's wearing that dress. Okay, we're just dancing some more. <laughs> this is such a goofy opening cutscene. What's happening? Jason? No way! Who let Jason work the bar? You know that's a bad- Oh, he's dealing too? Oh no, who gave him an ice pick? Oh, he's gonna use it to mix drinks though. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! Wait a minute! Is that Tupac? Tupac and a cat? Holy crap! This bar's the best bar ever. What's Tupac doing here? I guess maybe he's doing a song or something, right? I thought he was dead by this point. Never mind. Turns out Tupac wasn't dead. He's just working at a nightclub. What? What's with the SWAT team? <laughs> What's going on here? What does it say? Desert Moon. Okay. Present produced by Ken Fukaki. Okay. Sure. Oh, there's a fire on the dance floor, all right. You know it. Oh, God! There is an actual fire on the dance floor. <laughs> we gotta we gotta hit that water. Thank you. Oh, much better. 
Well, they're probably not doing so hot, though, right? Because they got burned. Oh, never mind. What? <laughs> what? Are they turning into vampires? What caused that? Oh, no, you all think it's a bit? No, this is for real, girl. <laughs> oh, God, it is, it's actually real. Yeah, nobody's listening to you, detective. Nobody's listening. Jason, no! No, Jason's not going out like that, right? <laughs> what the heck is going to happen? Oh, Tupac. That doesn't sound like Tupac, though. <laughs> Nobody is listening to you, detective. Oh! Uh-oh! What? What? Whoa! Why is that all catching on fire? Is that just alcohol in the fountain? That kind of rules, actually. <laughs> He's kind of like zombie walking at me. Oh! You know, you know Pac got that strap on him. Why has he got a silencer, though? That's amazing. You all right? Yeah, I'm cool. What are they? Yeah, what are they? I'm assuming vampires, Get right? Out here. They're vampires! <laughs> Get out of here! They're vampires! This white water turns them back to normal. I'm sorry, what? The white water? Well, we better go rafting, then. You're gonna cover up a single dead person's body? There are so many corpses around you? here. I love this guy's tattoo, by the way. Wait here. I'm gonna look around. Oh, you got another gun. Okay, cool. Uh, I guess why why do I need the trank? Where's my where's my gun? I literally just lost it. It should be like right nearby. Objectives of the early stages. Leave this area within three minutes, head for the screaming moon door. Use the anesthetic stun gun to knock them out. Use the action button to save them. Okay. Ooh, red moon, blood moon. You know things are going down. All these vampires running around. Fire prevention procedures, code CR01. CR01. Club will be sealed off in three minutes. Sealing off the club? Uh-oh. Please leave Club Regan immediately and proceed to a safe shelter area. Am I in Club Legan right now? Is that where I'm at? Uh-oh. Well, we got a zombie running at me already, so let's get out of there. Um, okay. I guess they're not zombies, right? They're vampires. A vambi. You know, if you're thinking of Brave Fencer Musashi. Actually, this music kind of reminds me of Brave Fencer Musashi. Feels very RPG-like. What? No! They got Pac here, too? They will not let my dude live! I don't like all these changes. I'm gonna keep my eyes on Pac. Can't believe they got him like that. I thought for sure he would live this time. Okay, so I'm looking for an exit. Okay, so is there something over this way? Oh, I hear somebody. Oh, here we go. Fear Moon. The key's damaged, I can't open the door. Oh, okay, guess we're not going that way then. How about over this way? Well, hello there, everybody. Everybody running around. Uh, okay. More corpses down there, oh. I like the idea that he took off his jacket to cover up one person that died, and there's just like so many corpses here. He took off the jacket just so the jacket would be off. Just because we gotta show off his cool tattoos. That's the entire point of that. Oh! Found something. Anesthetic dart, okay. I, I do love how just extremely late 90s this feels. Like vampires in a club going nuts, like from dusk till dawn. I'm a homicide detective, but I've got these cool leather jacket and leather pants, and I've got this sick tattoo all down my right side. Oh, hold on, is that something back there? I see blood on the door. Oh, it's the wall. Okay, here's a door, though. There's an elevator, but there's no power, so it's not moving. Oh, okay. 
sure. I guess we're not going that way then. Back over this way? Okay, I didn't see anything over here before, but maybe there was something. Is there something down here, maybe? Nope. Doesn't look like there's anything up there, either. I'm kind of limited on time, so I don't want to, like, run into areas that I don't want to, like, I can't get through. This way, maybe? I do like that our base speed feels higher than in, like, a, a Resident Evil game. I'm running around pretty quickly here. Okay, I guess let's go back to where we found Pac. <sighs> oh, man. What are we going to tell your mama, Pac? I do not know. can't even let my dude live once. Wait, what? What's back here? What is all this? Oh, I'm running out of time. Uh, we gotta figure this out now. This way? Can it go through here? Oh, okay, there we go. I make it out? Are we good? Okay, cool. I was a little worried there. I thought we were actually going to run out of time. It would be pretty funny to die in the first three minutes of the game. <laughs> that scream. <laughs> Thank you, Ghost of Tupac. I'll keep your words in mind. And I will keep your ambitions as a rider. Use the anesthetic stun gun, and after they're under, pour some white water on them to turn them back to regular humans. I didn't get to read all that, but I think that's what it was saying. What's this? A drink? Looks like a blood bag. <laughs> this is just like, I got my alcohol in this cool blood bag! Uh-oh. I see you. I see you scurrying back there. Little flea man looking dude. Oh, what's this? Kino ticket? Well, what do I need a Kino ticket for? Uh, there's nobody running Kino anymore here. I'll tell you that. Absolutely not happening. Oh, that's something. Okay, so all the items are these little yellow boxes. Oh, hello? I hear you. Please grab the box. What's happening? <laughs> okay, hold on. Let me get away from these chumps. Okay, they said to push the action button to... Uh-oh. Okay, how do I actually... I'm pushing the action button. Why is this not... Uh-oh. Oh, oh I've... I've got a clip! Okay! Yeah, that makes sense. Can I please... Oh my god. <laughs> they keep getting back up. When am I supposed to pour the water on them? Okay, what do we got here? There's a vending machine to buy a map. Buy a map? Yes. I would like a map. Thank you. Fear Moon map. Print. 1J. Uh, print, I guess. I like that you can print out a map. <laughs> but you have to pay for it. Okay, well, there we go. We got a map at least. That'll help me out. So, where am I? I'm in Fear Moon. And I'm over in this part of Fear Moon. I guess I came up the stairs. Okay, so I think the lower right section is where I came... Or, like, not the lower right, but the to the to the east of me. And maybe the lower right a bit. Like, all of that, I think, is the club I just came out of. Alright, hold on. Can I see the settings here? I would like to know... Yeah, I've got white water on. How do I use it? Because I've knocked them down a couple times. And I was not able to do anything? What's the action button? X. Okay. Yeah, so I, I knock them down and then I pour the water on them. Except that's not happening. Instead, they're just, like, getting back up anyway. I don't even know if I have any... How many tranks do I have left? Oh, I've got a bunch of tranks. Okay. 
Here, let's go ahead and reload while we're here. And I need to figure out how to take these guys out. Oh, nice. More darts. That's good. Okay, so get over here. Pour the water on him. Oh. Okay, I think I get it now. I, I need to be over, like... I need to be over their torso to pour the water on them, I guess. Okay. Well, there are a couple guys running around here, but, you know, it's a survival horror game, so we don't necessarily have to kill everything. We just need to live. What's over this way? I'm tired of messing with those guys. Oh, hello. Very narrow ha hallway for you to approach me from. Let's go check over here. Oh, what? Didn't I knock that guy out? Oh, I have to, like, fully knock them out, I guess? Okay, there we go. So once you knock them, you can, like, shoot them with the tranks a bit, and you knock them down once. I can't tell if I'm shooting at that guy or not. <laughs> there we go. But yeah, when you knock them down once, you can't actually pour the water on them. You have to do it twice. And I wish that I had been aware of that. Oh. Uh, of course I'm out of ammo. Grab that. Okay, another drink. That seems nice. Okay, is there anything back here? Locked from the other side. Okay. Great. Let me around you. Thank you. Okay, well we're not doing anything here right now. Oh my god. It's harder to go around guys in this than it is typically in a survival horror game. See, this guy's still on the ground. So I guess we got him. It said that they would turn back to normal humans, so I assume that once we've managed to catch them with the, the white water, the holy water, I don't know what it is. But once we've done that, I guess they will go away. Let's go down this way, because it appears to be the only way we can go right now. There's someone right around the corner. It takes so many tranks to knock anything down. Okay. I'm not going to use all my shots trying to do this. We're just going to try and juke them. I just needed to open up that path because it was kind of a bottleneck there. More tranks. Definitely good to get that. Oh. Nope. Go, go the other way. Oh, I'm, I'm injured now. I'm walking more slowly. Hold on. That's a lot of vampires. I was going to say that. At least there's a lot of items laying around. That's pretty handy. And they're very easy to spot. What? Bottle. Oh, alert. It says, so I guess I'm hurt enough that it is actually changing my life bar. Another item over here. It's easy to spot the items. I do appreciate that and their design choice. 9mm bullets? I don't even have a 9mm. Can I go in here? Oh, of course it's locked. Right as I'm getting cornered. Alright, well, let's go ahead and drink. I guess this is a heal. Okay. That'll make it easier to evade these chumps. There we go. That's what we're talking about. Now, I saw an item over here on the bar, but I would, did not grab it because I was getting chased. File. Invitation card. Let's read it. Invitation card. The new, the new century gives birth to a horror casino hotel. It's called The Desert Moon. Production has been handled by the giant horror movie director Randy Jones of the Beast Moon movie series. Jones has been invited to recreate a movie-like horror show for the opening party. Oh, that's why nobody thought the vampires were real at first. The opening commemorative ceremonies will take place in the Fear Moon of the hotel. In the Fear Moon of the hotel? What does that mean? I guess the Fear Moon area of the hotel? 
This is the party so many have been invited to. You are the main character in a horror movie. We'll give you a wonderfully horrible evening. GLD Company Chairman Alicia S. Tiller. GLD, okay. That's, some, that's one of the companies we have working here. Uh, let's see if we can go in... Oh, there's not a door over here, is there? I thought there was a door here. Let me take a look at the map. See which room this is and see if I was right about where I thought I was going. Oh, okay, no. So I guess the club I came from is on is, is to the west? No, it must be to the south, right? That's got to be the... Hold on, let me... I'm having trouble telling here. It was the top area, wasn't it? Man, I don't know where I came from, actually. I came, like, just now I came from the west. I do know that, but I'm not sure where the first first room I was in is. That's what I'm trying to figure out. Okay. Juke. Oh, you guys are pretty slow. I appreciate that. And I am very fast, so that's great. Nope, you're not catching me. What's in here? Oh. Door to Club Nancy is locked. That says Club Alice, though. The Door to Club Nancy is locked. Okay, so those are both locked. Nope. And I can't get in this club over here, either. Huh. Really? They're both locked? Hey, guys. How about we stop chasing me? Okay, well, there's a... There's a door here. A staircase and a door back here. I guess we're going to the dressing room, I, I assume. The door to the show stage is locked. Well, why is everything locked? So all the doors in here are locked? Okay. I guess I can get out of one of the other staircases in the previous room then. Interesting. Oh, I have a, I have cash. I did, it did say I had to buy the map earlier, so I guess we can buy stuff. Okay, nope. I'm just gonna run right by you guys. Don't mind me. We can't do anything here right now, apparently. But there must have been another door in here we could check. Nope. Now, I did go up this way. Because this is the one that... Yeah. That's the one with a narrow walkway up high. But I tried the door over there and that didn't work. So that's not where we need to go. Uh, can we get back somewhere in here? Oh. There we go. I didn't see this. I guess I had to come over to this corner to see it. Oh. This feels like a safe room, right? It's got like a Resident Evil safe room vibe. The music changed. I do like the music in this game, it's pretty nice. Okay, what do we have here? Save item mail. Okay, yeah, so this is this is a safe room, Resident Evil style. I apparently don't have any mail. Or this computer doesn't have any mail. I don't know how this actually works. Okay, guess not. Can't seem to do anything there. Item? Okay, so we can store items. I guess we should go ahead and save as well. But before I do that, I'd like to check what else is in this room. Anything else? There's something over on this desk. Looks like a safe or something in the corner here. Oh. What is this thing? There's a locked locker. Open the lock, yes. Okay, that didn't tell me anything. Oh, okay. This is pretty simple. <laughs> What's the point of that lock? That's very easy to figure out. Okay, so it looks like we found some sort of key card. There we go. ID for VIP room Susie. Okay, so that should let me get into another room. Okay, let me take a look at my time. Alright, cool. We're at a pretty good stopping point here. We got our intro done. 
Uh, you can see I'm a very cool looking homicide detective. Check out my sick tattoos all down my right side. Uh, guess I just don't need a jacket anymore. <laughs> this is so silly. Why am I doing this whole game shirtless? But okay, cool. Yeah. Why not? Why not? You know, why not? Okay, so we got ourselves a VIP card. I think we'll be able to figure out where we're going next. We we'll probably just got to try those. I assume that we just need to go back to that room with all the doors, and one of the doors will be open now because I got this key card. None of them said Susie on them, though, so I'm a little confused about that. But I guess we'll figure it out. Uh, yeah, so we're going to end here for today. If you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. My name's Scarecrow, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye!